Today, we're going to talk about the world of archaeology. Often, when people think of archaeology, they may envision the archaeologist as Indiana Jones. But the archaeologist couldn't be further from the character of Indiana Jones. Another thing, sometimes people will ask me, is if I study dinosaur bones. Well, as an archaeologist, I don't study dinosaur bones. Uh, that's for the paleontologist. The only reason why I would study dinosaur bones is if an ancient society or people found the bones themselves and used them as part of their material culture, either shaping them as tools or use them as grave goods, etc. But archaeologists do not study dinosaur bones. So what is archaeology? Often archaeology is described as the science that attempts to reconstruct and understand the past based on the material evidence present in the archaeological record. The archaeological record is the body of physical evidence about the past. This physical evidence can take on various forms that include, but are not limited to, artifacts such as pottery, stone and metal tools, and objects made or manipulated by humans, the archaeological sites, burials, monuments, and other structures, the manipulated landscape, ecological and environmental data, and other features that provide context with regard to or surrounding human activity. Archaeologists focus on cultural material, the physical remains and artifacts of humans and human activity. This focus is what separates us from the general study of history. Archaeology has as a key objective to be a full science that solely focuses on the material record. In this slide, I present to you uh, two definitions that are given with regard to archaeology. One is from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and you could see what it's how it defines archaeology. But I prefer the definition in red. Archaeology is the scientific study of material culture. And the reason why I prefer that definition is because it makes no reference to time. Often we think of the archaeologist as someone who studies the distant past or ancient cultures and societies. But as you may have guessed from reading the article with regard to the archaeology of garbage, archaeologists can study the material culture of present day societies as well. As in that article where the archaeologists were investigating human waste and looking at human waste in order to answer questions with regard to consumption and and how we depose of waste or construct waste, especially with regard to uh, packaging food in order to answer these, these questions about human consumption that are taking place uh, in the present. It provides a great example of an archaeologist doing contemporary modern research. So the archaeologist can, have a fu can function not just as a scholar of past cultures, but also one who studies the present. And that is why I like the definition in red. The archaeologist basically scientifically studies material culture. And that and material culture are all the artifacts, the art, the things that we build, everything that we've touched and manipulated and constructed and contrived. And, it, and from that analysis of those material remains, we're able to answer questions with regard to human activity 
and culture. I'm also uh, providing in this slide uh, uh, some pictures with regard to the tools that the archaeologist used uses. And I, I, I think it's interesting to show what is the material culture of the archaeologist. I always like to point out the in the photo on the left, object B, the trowel. The trowel is quintessentially the symbol of archaeological tools. It's amazing what you could do with that trowel and how much dirt you could actually move in order to uncover uh, an artifact or excavate a site. As you could see, there's a diversity of tools that we employ as we go out into the field. And also in the next slide, you'll see there are some more tools. Uh, one, some of the more recent tools that have been added to the, the toolkit are like GPS units, cameras, and even laptop computers. 